Thank you for play, playing our demo. We in, hope you enjoy your time. Early alpha build, we have placeholder assets. And if you find any bugs, uh, report them on our itch.eo page. We would love you. Moving on. Um, I just saw the tutorial. <laughs> I hope I wouldn't need a tutorial because I made this. But um, if you want to see the tutorial again or you hit start, I'm like, and you don't know how to play this game. This is mostly for um, people who might not be aware with visual novels and the type of games that they are. And uh, some of the people I'm showing the game off to can, you know, hardly unzip a file folder. So um, the tutorial is for those people. Chapter one. Chapter one. Glimpse of Glimpse a Glimpse of a she-wolf is probably a placeholder sort of sort of opening segment. Um, but we have Laika narrating that opening segment, and here we go with some. Have you ever stopped? Here's the first scene the of the game. Stray wolves that are deserters from the pack, uh, living their lives in solitude. Okay. I have. Uh, we're gonna let it play. Oh, okay. I'm on auto. Never mind. They go against societal norms and are either forced to become strays or roam off due to their own choosing. Uh, some background on this scene. We have our our protagonist Ray, and he's this is like a. Um, he's trying to make a comparison between wolves and lonesome human beings and so this speech goes on yeah uh, you know lone, lone wolves must use all devices and knowledge much of the to survive in a cutthroat kill or be our game wolves. sort of tries to make comparisons between wolves and being a, being a lone wolf on your own so to speak so that's pretty much what this opening segment Sometimes, alludes to. The wolves delight in their own solitude and thrive being alone. The advantage is being they reap all of their daily hunts and bound um, no one. You might think that for them, life is much like in certain ways to the being a member of this society, it sort of forces you to be social and make friends and all this other stuff. And that is correct. You you are one is inherently in a disadvantage if they do not socialize. However, then if you are isolated, that, that has its small packs, set of perks, are, uh, so to speak. To Solitude is a bane rather than a blessing. I'm not sure if my that audio back there is bleeding into the mic. If so, I apologize. Name. Um, King in the chat says his, uh, Rayan's voice reminds him of Oscar from Ruby. I don't, as far as I know, they're, they are not the same individual, but, uh, I, I listed the credits, um, on our itch.eo itch page, but, um, I, I do, since I selected him, I, I am a fan of, uh, Rayan's voice sort of fit the character whenever I cast him like a year and a half ago and I you know we stuck with him so that's that's who is uh, narrating this opening segment they will ultimately perish how many people are involved in the uh, I said I was gonna do but since we have a small crowd I'm just gonna answer questions as I see him how many people are are involved in the development process um pretty much I'm the head, uh, I'm the writer, I do the programming, which is not exactly coding, but uh, in a sense it is coding, but it's more like, if you think of Unreal uh, 4 engine, just if, if anyone's a developer, um, I know that they have a blueprint type of thing where you can create a game without code I, I really wanted to use unreal um but uh, my computer was not strong enough at the time so i could not do 
uh, I could not use that as my engine basically. So right now I'm using Visual Novel Maker which is a very heavily customized Visual Novel ma Maker and believe me I've had my share of frustrations with the engine and I've pretty much had to reinvent the engine for my own purposes right now. Um, who does the art for the game? Um, uh, a studio called um, Fam Chow. I have it in my credits. Um, I really love their art. Um, they do the character art, some of the backgrounds. It's they their look and their art pretty much fit my game. So when I way back in the day when I started creating my first sprites. I was like, um, I'm gonna go with these this people, and I'm stuck with them wolves. throughout the whole entire development process. Animals, wandering the earth, searching for uh, the is visual novel maker maker version. like um, RPG maker? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've never, you know, studied visual. Um, I'm sorry, RPG maker, but I think visual novel novel maker is more. I should just abbreviate it from now on. V uh, VNM is more drag and drop interface, but at the same time, you do if you're going to customize anything, you have to go behind the scenes, test, play test like a thousand different times, um, create your own systems and mechanics. Like, for instance, I have the uh, insight sort of triggers in this game where you can click it and another character speaks. Oh, but what if you don't click? Then you have to do something else and you know that has to be designed and there's different mechanics like um putting the character sprites on stream uh, i mean screen sorry and you know any sort of custom system has to be designed when it within itself basically Okay, so uh, more about the, what's actually playing in front of you guys. Uh, opening segments of the game, Rayan is basically narrating. He had some vocal lines for that opening segment. Here he's... Um, <laughs> it's You know, this is my first time doing a Let's Play of a visual novel, so I don't know if I should read everything. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm probably just going to provide my commentary when I see it. Should people be introverted or not? He goes on about saying, you know, <laughs> is anyone in life being shy and being passive? Is that an advantage or a disadvantage? People have always told me that I'm at a disadvantage, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, okay. Place, placeholder background, but this is his room. Uh, we start with the introduction in real time. Uh, moving on. He talks about we are born into this world and our parents choose our name. We might get made fun of, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and one thing that I used to get a lot, you know, people in high school thing, people make fun of my last name, you know, whatever. It is what it is, and it's just something you have to live with because you were born with that. So. What are you going to do? Change your last name? Are you going to shrug off people's um, ridicules and so on? Or are you just going to be Mr. Tough Guy internally and just shrug it off? So that's a decision that people have to make and live with pretty much. A mentality that they have to sort of put forth um, to survive in this world basically. He talks about, um, I mentioned the, uh, the ebooks being a heavy influence in this main character's life. They talk about pickup artists uh, and how they're trying to sell you a product. So they want their money. So they use these aggressive advertising tactics uh, and so on and so forth. So he gets... He gets pulled by this line, and the only way he knows how to interact with women is through ebooks. Uh, Storm in the chat says, "My last name means a deaf person in my language." Okay, very interesting. 
I, I don't know if that's cool or will someone make fun of you because of because of that. Uh, um, more let's play. The narration is happening. So you guys will have the chance to re take your time through this. Um, whenever you get your hands on the demo, it's releasing in about in 50 minutes now. He's, he's speaking more about, hey, uh, I'm isolated and I'm going through my life alone. So on and so forth. On the journey to the school cafeteria. Uh, he's talking about mm, females hard, hardly ever greet him. And, you know, I talked about Stranger Face earlier where he's a shy guy. So nearly every girl in his school is going to look at him and say, this is the shy student. He's not approachable. He is not. <laughs> he's I don't know. It's a big mystery. And when uh, Rand talks to his counselor a little bit further in the game, you will start to uh, open your horizons a little bit, I guess. Uh, why women and girls think this way, but they just do. Uh, a lot of the game was written from my own experiences, and I'm, you know, 30 and I'm married, and so, you know, I have a lot, lot of life experience being this sort of individual and seeing just how people, women mostly and girls treat me. Anyways. Rayan in the cafeteria. Uh, he's trying. He's looking for a seat. He doesn't know where the hell. And believe me, I've been here. It's like, do I sit alone? Do I go to a strange crowd of people where I have to introduce myself? I don't know where to sit. Um, nor normies and <laughs> the geeks and the normies, basically. Um, I I see some people in the chat. Uh, are you are you guys talking about your last names in the in the chat? Uh, Alex Swift says my name means rose rosary. I don't think my last name has a meaning. <laughs> it just it sounds like chef. So people said you know they make make fun of me for that. But anyways. Every second or third girl I deemed attractive. So you you wandering around high school, right? I'm sure everyone was 18. You're like in in your head internally, you're probably probably like that girl's hot. That girl's hot. Mo you know, <laughs> moving moving on. Oh, that girl's hot too. But you're just internalizing it, so no one is hearing you. And he's he's speaking about self help guides. Uh. Tell me to approach everyone. women. We'll begin our Miss Crass is speaking now. Shortly. Please proceed to your seat. <laughs> King, King in the chat says, We shy guy, guys need a mask and a hood. <laughs> it's rough, man. It's, it's rough. To be honest, I... Just through my own life experiences, I really wanted to make like a, a show, not tell type of game that could teach people uh young guys i suppose or pretty much anyone like hey i'm a shy guy how how in the hell am i gonna meet anyone and that's been a large fear of mine even into my late 20s like how you know am i gonna be single my whole life does anyone like me no one tells me what i look like do i look bad do i look good you know, do I, <laughs> that's pretty much the treatment I've gotten my whole life. So through Rayan, back to the game now, um, is something like similar narrative is playing out in this game, pretty much. It's just more, much more in depth than what I'm uh, explaining right now. Rayan talks about um being attracted to his teachers i i have been attracted to my some of my older teachers back in the day uh, i'm 32 right now as i mentioned some people tell me that i look young for my age <laughs> um I, I guess i'll take it as a compliment but um yes i am married and i uh i have a 12 year old stepson so 
in the developer problems, it's it's hard. This game has so far for this build has taken about two years just for everything that you see here. Part of that, uh, you know, I can only work like three, maybe four hours a day, uh, and then arranging everything. Uh, and then there are periods when I'm like, I get demotivated. And I'm like, what the hell am I creating? Will anyone like it? Okay, moving on. We have this opening segment. Hello and greetings with, with to our Crass new and, and returning spoken Renton dialogue. High Wolves. Um, I'm here to welcome you to another storm in the chat and says spectacular no. school here uh, at High. My name harem. is this, this game is and I'll be the homeroom teacher. It's pretty much anti harem. So I wanted to make a game that has nothing to do with harems. It, it might be a stretch route, <laughs> but it will not be the priority. So when you go to romance, any anyone in any of our main female characters, it's like them or nothing, pretty much. And you have to choose. Uh, did you have experience of making a harem in high school? Uh, it takes no, a great I think I, I think I didn't answer that. So uh, I was, I was, the work that each and every staff I never had the attention of multiple women at the benefit. same time. High school is the start of a big change for many of you. I expect our upper class okay. to act Ms. Crass with this opening and show speech. their younger students the uh, I might as well put this on auto, see if it actually works. If there's, um... I hope the, the audio doesn't get cut out, um, during the auto We've messaging, but and I guess we'll see. Before. What's Sometimes up, Richter, in the chat? Hello. For anyone still here, Let's not we have uh, 10 or 11 of you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now. This is awesome. It wouldn't be fair to uh, I am giving, I, earlier Rendon today, I gave away Foxy Land 2, fierce, loyal, or we have winners selected. I haven't given Never them their codes that. yet, but you guys will get it. So if you have been here this whole time and I mentioned that you won, one, I will send to you after the stream. And after at the end of the stream, I will be give, giving away uh, Horizon Thrive Zero Dawn for PS4. Are at their best. Uh, for we complete edition. As one, Can I get this on but camera? As a united community and the, don't worry. The, um, the code is not visible. Accomplishments. I'll this is basically, I have this left over from Christmas where the, the flash, and the, what, what's my call it, the bundle that, that has God staff, of War and Horizon Zero Dawn in, in it. And everyone's future. Uh, we'll so I have, the, I have that code to give away at the end of the stream. Richter says, is this game compl completed? Shortly. Um, no, sure it's not. Yourself with uh, the basically I need more funding classes. for assets. I'm not this holding a Kickstarter as as yet teeth every night. because I don't, I I, the game I feel is not in a, <laughs> in the state to hold a Kickstarter. So I, to ask I need to put more money for it and get more assets and so on it's likely before I get to that to point. Students. But don't worry, you'll become acquainted uh, But a Kickstarter enough. will eventually happen probably next year. Down on us wolves this year. Um, Dismissed. King says he's seen his fair share of uh, harem-based visual novels or single-route-based visual novels. Awesome. See, my issue is I actually really like visual novels. I mean, hell, I... <laughs> I, I grew attracted to Blaze Blue and its visual novel structure. And I really liked the English voice acting and not many people did. Uh, they prefer Japanese, but you know, I wanted to make my own take on the uh, original English visual novel scene. So this is what I've created so far. Suddenly, and Okay, no one second here. Reason, Gameplay uh, interactions happening. Grown Suddenly, and for no apparent reason, he decides to raise his head. <laughs> Our main character. Side was and he he meets Siona. Here she is. Ever seen. You've probably seen her face plastered all over the place. She's one of the main girls in this um, main routes. Um, there's not much I can say. Like her story will unravel over the course of the game, and I hope it will be shocking, surprising, and you will, you guys will learn more about 
this social structure, which is really heavily based on real life. When I made these, when I wrote the story and I made the interactions between the characters, I really wanted something real. So that's what I have to say. I, about. I mean, one of those people probably see attractive moments. girls in their line America of sight every day. Magical. Probably not so much now with the coronavirus, but you know what I mean. He he makes eye contact with her, and believe me. Um, uh, probably you guys have been through this. You you see a cute girl, right? And it's like her glare is so strong. It's like you want to look, she look was away because if you, you know you keep staring at her, like I I'm gonna be a pervert to or something, or I gotta look all. down. So I'm not, I'm not gonna just sit there and hold eye contact with her. What should I do? Okay, so now he has a choice. Um, if you're too slow, you're gonna get a, a game, not a game over, but here are your three choices. And I'm just gonna let this play out and not make a choice, but just to let you know, you got five seconds. And if you don't move, you get a freaking transition because you were too slow. Because that's how real life works. I explained this earlier. Um, the I forgot what I called it. But one of the lore terms of the game is like a five second approach rule. If you do not move your ass within five seconds, you're just gonna get, uh, you're gonna lose, lose confidence. You're gonna deliberate and you're not gonna actually walk up to the girl and have a conversation or whatever. So that's what I really wanted to emulate in this uh, gameplay mechanic. Um, Richter, to reiterate, uh, when you meet when you meet Siona for the first time, you can approach her, you can ignore her. I'm just going to explain this. Um, if you do not click the approach button within five seconds, you're going to lose your chance. And that's like a gameplay mechanic where it's timed. It's a timed choice selection. So these two choices are actually on the first prompt. But, um, what, what, how am I going to explain this? Uh, the approach option goes away if you're too slow. So then he misses a chance and he's, then it ran. is like, um, he's not that pretty or waste my time. Forget this. So he has additional options. He's not that pretty. I must be struggling to put on a brave this is Rayan narrating. Who am I kidding? She's a girlfriend I would die to have. Yeah, I mean, she's drop dead gorgeous. Um, there he sits. He can't do anything. Damn her. She's too pretty. And then Rayan gets depressed. I'm sure that's happened to nearly all of us. <laughs> it takes more than five... Uh, I might have to, well, I might have to either have difficulty options or, um, we'll see how the player feedback on, on that works. But, uh, in the first build, that's how it's operating. And not every choice is like that. Just the, um, scenario based, you have to approach or you have to think about approaching. And if you miss your time frame, it just continues on without you. And then Rain talks about, um, let's see, uh, he's, he's obsessed. He's literally obsessed with this girl. Takes over his entire life. Is she out of my league? Why did we even have eye contact? It's just random. Your eyes are in a certain plane of sight and the girl's is, is, is on another plane. Just random. But it still happens. But um, the point of this current scene is Rayan is all internalizing every every single um, thought process that you can think about when it comes to seeing this girl. So, that, and that's all he's thinking about for the rest of the school day. Um, class assignments arrive, seven periods. The... Um, when I made the, the setting for this game, the school setting at least, I really wanted it to be based on a Western 
school environment in high school so to sort of be the polar opposite of Japanese high schools and stuff I, you know kind of like a ruby type situation where what am I saying <laughs> the the um ruby which is an original English uh anime inspired type of sh- uh show anime show but it's you know the creators are american so i wanted the setting to be uh anime i wanted the art to be anime inspired but i wanted the setting to be actually uh based in a western environment um what is oxen free i have no clue ran runs into this Ow. Mystery girl with um, the scratch on her eye. She doesn't have a name going, yet. Please. Um. Watch where you're going, please. Oh, I, I'm. I must apologize. I was spacing out and didn't look uh, ahead in front of me. <laughs> so, with the introduction of this um, certain twin-tailed character, it sort of introduces the sort of fantasy elements. People don't really crash into each other and you don't really crash into girls, but that's part of the narrative and having multiple routes and such. So a little bit of that is, you know, just um, creatively inserted, so to speak. I'm in a hurry. Please excuse me. Okay. Did she wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Okay. Uh, and a, a, a common sort of um, tough guy response, I guess. People either project this or they internalize it. So let's say um, you're going after um, a girl you're interested in, right? And you're like, and let's say you ask for her number or whatever, and she says no. You know, you're going to be heavily bummed out and depressed because of that. But a common, common like fight or flight response um it's like oh you know forget her i'm not that attracted to her or whatever you know just because you had you know you had a negative ex- experience with her you got turned down so now you're gonna it's like a defense mechanism you know oh forget her she's not attractive anyway so uh we are transitioning uh, back home he's talking about some of it, uh, his environment. Uh, okay, welcome to uh, placeholder backgrounds. Uh, he goes. Uh, Rain goes upstairs, and he t- he takes a nap. And and believe me, people who are suffering from depression in some way or another are going to be uh, sleeping a lot, taking naps. I was there, you know, I've been there. It's just something that happens. Uh, as if a slap is a bad thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, he didn't get slapped yet. I, I don't think, I don't think Rain, uh, our main character, is that type of, that would go against our narrative where he, you know, goes and gropes the girls or whatever, you know. But uh, I don't know. It might happen in the future. <laughs> or I might do a, um, a gag joke or choice where he does something like that. Uh, three years of high school have passed and he has no girlfriend. Prom is coming up. What is he going to do? Uh, believe me, a girlfriend is not going to fall into his lap. And his grades decline. Because guess what? None of that matters right now. I just need to find someone to be my girlfriend, basically. Um, usually you take like power naps and it's like, I feel so great. Which never happened with me, by the way. I never take a nap and I'm like, I feel great now. I'm like, I'm drowsy as hell. I feel more tired than when I started. Why did I even take a nap? Senior year was 
supposed to, you know, you're you're 18, right? You should be focusing on your uh, academics, right? Getting into college and so on and so forth. Um, however, Rayan is not doing any of that. <laughs> and truth is, I did not either. Uh, because hint hint there is some personal inspirations to the narrative uh, he's talking about girls were everything to him consumed all of his actions his everyday thoughts and he has no energy or motivation for anything else basically summer assignments were left undone performance in school doesn't matter And he's just half-heartedly passing himself through life. Richter says this is nice. It is a nice ass room. Um, it's actually placeholder placeholder graphics right now. But uh, thank you for the for the compliment, for sure. Uh, there's a million more things he could do, like actually completing his homework right now, but he chooses not to. He could either, um, okay. I, I actually want to go through this here. We're not going to get cut off, believe me. Uh, okay, so you're, you're going home from school depressed. You can either uh, play some games. You can try to get what you really want, which is getting a girlfriend, right? So should you study, study those notes, study your notes? Um, or should you play games? <laughs> that is a question because you already ignored your homework at this point. So it's like there probably should be a third option that says, let's mm, this, let's just go to sleep again. Attempt to study uh, this dating ebook. And I this, this choice is actually kind of funny. Uh, so I'm going to pick it right now. Uh, King King in the chat says, "When I take a nap, he somehow just stays up till the next day." Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, been there. All right, so we pick, we select the the um, study the ebook. So Rain, right? I mentioned his um, influences um, with these dating ebooks that supposedly supposedly tell you all the techniques to approach women how to interact with them how to get dates how to you know have confidence all these other things and it's like a 500 freaking page manual right um so with this option you can sit down and study your printouts and this is just a, a small portion of that uh for that this opening choice the book claims you can get random dates by follow, following the instructions. This is completely completely absurd. Yet he's drawn in like he he gets baited by these advertisement and oh you know I want an attractive girlfriend. I want <laughs> Why don't I have one? Um it says that approaching random girls and getting their numbers is like a routine thing it's a numbers game more you approach the greater your success so on and so forth and then he decides to open his book uh, which might be uh the graphics for this gui might be expanded upon to be an actual book later in the game uh but this is what we have right now all previous chapters were seemingly Filler motivational nonsense. They're trying to motivate you with these um these ebooks that claim to give you advice on women because they want to sell sell you the book. Newsflash, I purchased one back in the day, like 15 years ago. <laughs> um it's funny, it's funny. Um if you guys have seen our background that says um Welcome class of 2009. It, this, the game, the setting of the game is not uh, real life. I Meaning it's not present day. It's actually based in 
2000 in like five and six. So around that time before apps and all that stuff. So a little more commentary on why I don't have like app based things and like create a tender account. So on and so forth. So it's like a look into the past, basically. Rayan decides to open his dating ebook, and he comes upon the um, terminology or the page that says "caveman hygiene method," and he's reading from the book. This is this, this is legit. The well, it's actually I put a little bit of dramatization into these instructions, but uh, I swear to God, I did take. This is an actual thing. Wake up randomly. Do not shower or put on deodorant. Chances are, hey, you decide to not, you, you decide to actually follow these instructions. Hey, the book says no one will notice. The purpose of this exercise is to train you to be more comfortable. It will raise your self-esteem. If you can handle this ex- extreme environment, then you can do anything. You are Superman. Do not take this exercise lightly. It will teach you where other tactics fail. If you are feeling especially daring, interact with someone with no deodorant on your pits. <laughs> Speak to them confidently and notice any subtle changes in their language. Are they forcing themselves to be in your personal space? Or are they genuinely enjoying your company? Chances are the stranger will not notice anything, supposedly. Because that's not what they're actively looking for. Your lack of hygiene would be not readily on their minds because they're not thinking about that in everyday interactions. But they would probably smell you. If you didn't perspirate that day and you had no physical exercise, maybe they wouldn't. But that's not something I would try personally. But it's what I... (laughs) I ran across something like this. And I decided to integrate it. If you complete this challenge, give yourself a reward. And then he's done reading the book. Then Rain provides his own commentary. What in the hell? This book, whatever I'm reading, expects me to do this? You're kidding. Is he try- Is the author of this book just in it for the shock value or what? Um, so yeah, this that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy that um, a book would advocate, so- advocate something like that. Don't put, you know, skipping deodorant and skipping your shower. Because if you do, you will boost your self-confidence. I personally don't believe in any of that hearsay. Uh, And I I believe everyone has been in that situation where it's probably more of a high school thing. You just wake up or whatever. You just forget. Like, I just forgot to put on deodorant for that day. You're going to have moisture coming down, period. It's unavoidable. It, it's going to happen. It's going to be uncomfortable. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, he, you know, more self-narrative. He would not do that for... Someone paid him to do it. Um, if someone paid me to do it, I would probably do it. Otherwise, I would not do it. The opening of school came in Moving wins, on. Uh, notable progress was made so this is girls. somewhat of a time skip. Two opening of school comes and goes. Yet, he read about how to approach girls, but he did nothing. Two days down the gutter. Uh, that seems like a common thing. At least personally, you read like it, anytime you read a self-help anything, it's like I'm going to read it. I'm going to spend hours reading this, but then I'm going to do nothing. Uh, so we have a time skip of about two days, and the next day happens. Uh, okay. Three minute drive to school. Okay, great. And you know, sometimes when you have school that's like so close, it makes you lazy. If you have your workplace three minutes away, 
if you have your school uh, or university three minutes away, you're gonna be like a, a lazy ass in bed until the very last minute where you actually have to get ready. Oh, lunch time came around. So rain is, is, and I alluded to the situation of where certain people, if you belong, you don't belong to any crowd, uh, any sort of social groups, you don't really have friends you can sit with. And that happens to us. If you are a close, um, socially introverted, you're not going to have that many friends. Or if you do have friends, there are going to be times when you cannot rely on your friends. So it's like, where do I send it? sit in the lunchroom? Should I just skip lunch? And that's what this uh, scene is sort of alluding to here. Okay. Um, more cafeteria uh, happenings right now. Bad cafeteria food, that's always a thing. It might be a couple grades above hospital food, but not very much. Let's see, uh, end of lunch comes. It speaks about the um, situation with the crowds. Brain goes to his next class. And the scene uh, continues on. It was my first time visiting uh, his statistics class, I believe it was. And back in the day, uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this, but sometimes uh, your high school didn't have enough space for its classrooms because of expansion or whatnot. So they need trailers they need to pull up some trailers and your classroom might actually be in a trailer attached from the school which believe it or not is actually kind of nice because you know you get to get outdoors the crowds are mostly avoided and there's no hallways so I act back in the day I actually enjoyed having trailers for a classroom fortunately these buildings and he, he talks about it He talks about the, the positives of having a trailer, classroom, placeholder, placeholder background, by the way. Inclement weather, carrying an umbrella. And, and this mentioned the thing, like, if, if you're an antisocial person, it's like in high school, you can visit your locker, sure. You can brave the crowds and put your stuff in the locker every time you need to change your classes. Or you could just not keep everything in your heavy ass book bag and skip locker trips altogether. The scene transitions. Uh, it talks about being new in, in, in a new classroom with new acquaintances and you don't recognize any of the students, etc. That opening first day of school jitters whatever um sitting in the back is um all the seats uh, you know outside of the teacher in the first couple of rows are avoided everyone wants to sit in, in the back because they're you can do sketchy stuff behind the teacher's back and all that other um it gives you more freedom supposedly that's why no one wants to sit in the front uh, King says, bad cafeteria food. Bro, a recent uh, visual novel I played had that exact scenario. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just... It's just a, a mention of the cafeteria food here. Adjusting to his seat, he sees Siona, which at this point he doesn't know her name. Even though she has a prompts, this is Siona. He, well, actually, we didn't meet her in this choice selection. My bad. <laughs> you only have five seconds to make a decision. So, 
let's say you didn't approach Sione at the beginning of the game, realistically, you're not going to know her name. And you still don't know your, know her name. As the character that you're playing as doesn't know her name. Whoops. What a terrible time to run out of batteries in my mouse. Fortunately, I can use the mouse pad, but just... I don't know what to say about that. It's just bad luck. In any event, the positioning of my seats... Uh, da, da, da. This talks about... Um, it's sort of a gateway into, into Rayan's mind in that it talks about the uh, perspective of having an idol in your class or someone you're lusting over in your classroom and that said the girl girl is in front of you <laughs> right and you you got the hots for her right you i'd be you probably be, believe me you're going to be looking at her even if you can only see her back the sides of her body uh you're going to be stealing glances at her that is a thing so this this scene talks about more and in, more insight into that particular scenario okay um and he's like <laughs> enjoying his view but at the same time uh not that he's a stalker he can be a stalker with his eyes at I guess. I wouldn't call him a stalker. He's more like enamored with the girl and he just happens to see her in his classroom. So might as well take advantage of that. Studying her womanly curves, you know, the basic stuff that makes us attracted to girls, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This talks about why is he attracted to woman's chess? <laughs> why? Why are we? I mean, they just just for feeding babies, right? Why? Why is that a thing? Uh, her long exotic hair. Um, oh, I, I could use a tissue. Damn, I need to wash my hands after this. <laughs> Anyways, um. This this next segments allude to the fact that uh, Siona is is a type of girl, and I don't know if you guys know certain women that have hair down to their thighs, and you know, like past their ass. But it it's very rare, maybe one or two percent, maybe less than that. Actually, of girls actually have hair that long. But for some reason, for some reason, probably probably the rarity of that just makes you attracted to her. And I'm definitely, a, you know, I have a long, personally have a long hair fetish. I don't know about you guys, but the longer the hair, the better. <laughs> Anyways, um, he's he's seeing Sigiona lusting after her, feeling incompetence inside of him because he doesn't believe that he can match up to her um he that he can meet her level of attractiveness every time he runs into her he's gonna be feeling lust one of the seven deadly sins yes it is okay so Zion Zion says he doesn't like being reminded about puberty. And here we have Rayan narrating. Is always I think I have a bug here corner. in this section of the game. And I don't have my headphones on, so I... It's supposed to be like a scene transi transitional where he says something and it's... Like, this is an experienced Rayan talking. I'm like 20 or something years old and I have lived life. I've battled, been ba battle-hardened. And this is my advice to you guys. Something like that. That's what I was going for anyways. I, I can't remember what he said at that point. And I couldn't see it because the text is bugged on the screen. Anyways, Siona Rufus. That's her name. 
she comes up on the screen. I'm here, which should be voice, but I didn't contract the voice actress in time for just one. You know, I didn't want to contact her for one word. So unfortunately, that is not voiced. Uh, Rayan observes this happening. Siona just raising her hand. She did nothing but, you know, answer attendance. But it was somehow a this huge event. And now he officially gets to learn her name, because she answered, because she answered the roll call. A lot of this, a lot of the game is, of this game is over dramatized, but at the same time, it's something that actually happens. The only thing that is important, and I can personally attest to to some of the events, and the um, just how it is for us guys. Sometimes your own opinion of yourself doesn't matter, which I agree with. You know, I put these lines into the game. I'm going to agree with it. Um, my overview is that you could think you're a big shot, you know, you could, you could say, Hey, people love me, or I'm very successful in life, or I look good or et cetera, et cetera. None of that even matters unless people actually have that opinion of you. Uh, likewise, people can say, you know, they can say anything about you, but Uh, that advice was more towards you can say anything about yourself, but it doesn't matter what you think of yourself. But it matters what other people think of you, more um, primarily. Okay, this talks about the fact how Rayan was. Um, he's over obsessed with girls, right? So he's trying within his abilities, his limited abilities. This ebook is telling him he needs to meet women, he needs to meet girls somehow in his school because that's mainly where he's at. How is he gonna meet them? Just during class, not happening. Not happening during class. You know, not really happening in the hallways because the crowds are too much to deal with. Uh, so how is he gonna meet them? Uh, if you, I'm sure, uh, though the, though the, <laughs> getting a twisted here, those of us who have attended high school probably know that maybe you don't, but people stick around after the end of, end of the school day. They have after school activities, they have, they might have, um, you know, waiting for a car ride or carpool or the, the late bus, etc. And it's not that crowded. So Rayan thinks to himself, maybe I need to, this seems like the best opportunity to look for a girlfriend, right? All these cute girls standing around and they don't have that many people around them. Believe me, um, some guys can, you know, go into a crowd of people, pull out a single person, and, you know, have some sense of charisma. Most of us cannot do that. <laughs> um, so, the easiest people are, the, the easiest people to approach, you know, cold approach, are those who are standing still, not on the move not appearing busy and with no one else around them okay uh more siona obsession just by seeing her once one time maybe twice the image of her is ingrained into his skull what time is it 351 um, I'm just doing doing a countdown for the demo officially being available on itch. It should become available in about eight minutes or s that's at least that's w when I put it. So I have to check check the website again to uh, 
see if it's actually live but you guys are welcome to try out the demo for yourself leave your comments and thoughts um, on our page we would very much appreciate this and if you happen to do your own media content for the game um, please let me know you know I, I would love to let other people know <laughs> that you uh, gave our game some coverage. This is talking about the, the class clowns, the people who make a fool of themselves and show confidence are primarily the types of men that women are attracted to. Ideally, that whole thing about being confident, etc. It's easy, it's very easy to say be confident, have self confidence, you know, be a man, etc. But then, you know, it's, that's like, that's no different than, than an ebook telling you do this, do that, you know, and then you actually behaving that way or acting that way. Not, you know, that's not everybody. Sometimes, most of the time, you're faking, you know, I mean, you can go through life being fake. Sometimes it works, but other times that's not genuinely who you are. <laughs> uh, okay, King, King in the chat is saying, see her for the first time, see her for the second time, see her for the third time, time-based choice. That's interesting. Um, as far as I remember, the first choice when you see Siona is a time-based choice. But uh, the rest of them were not so far. Rayan goes home, um, lusting over Siona again in his bedroom, you know, daydreaming. We all d did that at some point, right? Lust over some girl you cannot reach. Uh, but yet, the prospect of being with her is so powerful. And she is like his trophy figure, which is a similar thing in uh, with young girls. You know, I'm not sure if you know if that's a thing, but people are attracted to uh, girls in particular are attracted to celebrity figures. Not only are they typically good looking, but they are approachable, and they're kind of like a. A milestone to to aim for and that and that makes this uh, celebrity figure attractive it was the only way okay desperation mode has anyone the, since the history of has mankind anyone since the history of been mankind rewarded been rewarded for being, for being silent I don't think so That is what the question on the screen is alluding to. Has it? Do people get anywhere by being silent? Maybe women can just by standing around looking, just existing. But for guys, that is not really the case. We are trained to be, uh, or society tells us to take action because if we just sit on our behinds you know we're not going to be successful in uh in life or with women or you know in the dating pool usually i'm not there's always exceptions to that rule and that's a lot of uh, the uh background in the in the plot of this game you know, everyone and 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 this ebook is telling me to approach. This is a certain way to get girls, but do other ways exist? Are there alternate methods to finding a girlfriend? Um, and this this section is not fully complete. Basically, you're presented with a series of choices, and you must detect. You must choose 
a certain option like uh, what's preventing me from talking to this cute girl is it my looks is it my uh, self-confidence is it my etc etc and you get different uh, choice selections and dialogues for each one no, uh, it talks a little bit about going for you know less attractive women, which is a thing, uh, which is a certain thing. When people get, at least for me, um, when I was like 18, 17, 18, I had very high standards for women. You know, I wanted them all to like all of the ones I were attracted to to be like supermodels and you know like the ideal. Perfect physical appearance, etc., etc. But there, as hard as there, it is to believe there is more to a woman, to a woman slow, than and unintelligent. how she looks. Do we the really problem is that's what we that's what we us? are initially attracted to. Um, those who decide to be passive. People usually don't think very highly of people who are quiet to themselves. You know, they might think we're stupid or, you know, socially impaired or something else. Let's just say they don't, pe pe the general audience and society does not think highly of us. And that's what this narrative is alluding to here. Um, Rand talks about, okay, pause that thought. It's almost four o'clock, so real quickly, what we're going to do, our demo is set to actually officially launch here in about one minute. Let me see if I can pause this. Quick save. I did the quick save mechanic. Uh, so if I, we'll go through these various screens. Whoops. To get to like the save and load screens, you actually have to go to menu here. You have to go to load game. And my quick save. This is, to be honest, I want to change up the GUI. The problem was the coding of the um, the save slot, save and load system was kind of tripping me up. So most likely this is not final because I really wanted to show the time and date, etc when you actually save the game and maybe the the scene you're on uh, problem is I would need programming help for that so that's not currently implemented right at this moment so you oops I saved over myself you have to kind of remember whenever you go to save if you save over this you don't want to save over slot one you want to use it as your quick save so you, say you want to save something else the file to you save here and if you hit the quick save option it will automatically overwrite uh, file one so just keep that in mind uh, we're gonna pause that real quick and we are going to go um, to our itch.io itch page and I'm gonna post a link in the chat if you guys are able to access or actually download our demo please let us know um, I posted the link if you would like to download our demo. If you're able to download the demo, it, it would be great if you could let me know, hey, I can, I'm able to download the files and I got it, I got the uh, software working or I got the demo working. So if anyone is so gracious to let me know, know that, that would be great. But the demo is officially live, supposedly. Um, maybe I guess I could check that myself real quick. Let's see. Uh, going over to. Oh, it says three minutes. How is it? Oh, that's maybe my phone time is quick is too quick. It says three minutes, so it's not available yet, but hopefully in the next three minutes it will be available and you can download it. All right, back to what I was doing. Go back to the game. Uh, where was I? 
am I actually can is that is that coming up sorry I'm in the wrong slide okay was I that hideous as a human being that w women were appalled at the sight of me maybe nobody knows a central theme is that at least from what I have experienced and I talked about this earlier oftentimes you don't know what any girl is thinking or women in general what they are thinking of you unless you're the popular guys and you hear gossip etc it's often like it's a guessing game so you don't receive positive feedback you don't receive negative feedback you receive nothing and all, at least to me it's like people have told me down the line that such and such was interested in me and it's like well that's great that you're telling me now but this girl is already gone or something that, you know I learned after the fact through you know second hand I had no idea this person was interested in me but actually actually they were maybe I could have actually you know taken a step at that point and that's that's pretty much what rain is talking about and this a lot of the game is internal monologue in this opening uh, demo um, and that and that's a key sort of component that I wanted to narrate even if it seems a little boring if it's like a lot of internalized monologue for 60 minutes of the demo um, I really wanted to set the uh, the narrative for our main character and how he goes about life and what he's struggling with uh, this talks about the doomsday clock of getting a date before the uh, end of the school year and before prom so he's constantly dreading the 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 fact of he might not get a girlfriend if he does not nothing because they cer certainly weren't coming to him and he thinks and he constantly ponders what he's you know what he's supposed to do is he supposed to approach and ask more women out like cold approaches approaching or is he all he knows is from this ebook that he read that's it um, so he didn't want to approach any girls not just you know he didn't want to approach the less than attractive girls he didn't want to approach the the hotties he wanted he could not approach anybody and then we see a uh, twin tailed girl again and finally we are introduced to this insight mechanic where you might see this floating moon happening on the right hand corner of the screen you can select you can decide to select it I will tell you that there are certain endings to this demo if you happen to trigger every single one of these uh, insight pointers or counters insight points um, that, this is what I'll do so I'll show you let's say I decided to neglect that it was a shame this this character is walking up to him and he's like all internalized in his head oh I missed the insight point because I was on auto or whatever so it kind of forces you to slow down and take in the narrative instead of just skipping all over the place so this girl on this orange haired girl whose name is currently uh, a placeholder she had one inside point I skipped it she was saying something in her head and this time I'm gonna trigger it okay so and now oh, she says oh look it's, it's Mr. Mr. Nobody, Nobody. That's what she's narr internalizing. She's not speaking to Rain, but she's thi she's thinking it inside of her head, looking at the ground as usual. I saw this guy already. How predictable! He's such a loser. How predictable! This is pathetic. Not said to his face, but she is definitely thinking it. 
Oh, and then, wow, deja vu. I crashed into her, her again because I was looking down at the ground. Wow, oh, really she's. Look towards where you're going. You really it's need to look where you're going. It's not very manly to walk around with your eyes on the ground. Oh, I missed that. I missed that trigger because I advanced too quick. But basically, what she says is, she internalizes like, "Oh my God, I why? Why did I run into this guy again? This really ticks me off." That's what she said, basically. Because outwardly, she's appearing calm and like sort of neutral, very neutral, but. Inside sorry, of herself, sorry, she's like, I... see a steam coming out of her nostrils. Sorry, sorry, I... This was really? in the trailer. Do you mean, Do you mean any of that? Or are you just... Or are you just spouting nonsense to She's meant to be a hard ass. This, <laughs> this character. Been the first time. In, a, in a large contrast to Laika, the character that, that she's based on. Um, so there's a whole story around that. And uh, we'll see... Uh, we will see how this particular character and I think I'm actually running into a certain bug in the game which I have not figured out how to solve yet mm, you might have seen that the text is, the choices are introducing a bug in the game where I don't know how to describe it but it's not normal it's a bug anyways could you please tell me your name Okay, the villain says he can download the game. That's awesome. Um, there are a number of bugs that I have run across. Um, unfortunately, I I hope to, in the next build, try to patch them out. But uh, the game, as far as I know, can run from start to finish. But there, there's some pesky bugs in there. One I just ran into on the, sc on the screen, um, stream right now. Could you please tell me your name? I'm gonna choose a second option. I can't apologize enough because I can't apologize. Uh, enough. Thanks. I must bow down to you and what's the word I'm looking for? You know, you are above me. I'm sorry. Hmm. Apologies, Apologies are, meaningless. are meaningless. You should not have crashed That's into me in the first I... time. Do Can I do something to help, to help you, though? No. Uh, no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you can do nothing to help me. This is not really a normal interaction. She's th th that her character is dramatized. She's meant to be a hard ass, as I said earlier. But it just puts Ray in an even darker, you know, a deeper depression because he's treated bad. Uh, I never had a random person, a random girl treat me randomly bad for no reason. But I have, you know, when I walked up to them and I was like an idiot trying to get their number because, hey, I read some sh crap online because if I ask for so many girls' numbers, I will eventually get some of them. And then I, you know, I've gotten like very, um, how I put this, like negative, I guess body language and like tone because they didn't want me they they were you know they didn't want anything from me so it does happen being dependent on others being dependent on others is the exact of definition of weak. weak um so don't do what i don't do what i did uh and there was, if you choose the, I was going to mention on this earlier, like at the very beginning, I talked a little bit, you know, about coronavirus and this ridiculous um, ban on physical contact right now. In this game, actually, the demo alludes to the fact that if you, you know, decide to approach Siona, it's like, let's go out and shake her hand, right? Well, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't go up to a random strength during this time. A, a lesson until maybe in a year if this craze passes then maybe strangers will shake your hand but um this actually happened to me uh you know some of us have to go to work still so instinctually i go to shake someone someone's hand right i'm like nice to meet you 
and then they they have this negative response coronavirus type you know uh and they take like 15 seconds to process it and they they go in with the elbow bump so i had to look like an idiot and elbow bump this person because i was so used to handshaking during these trying times so it's definitely something that happens anyways uh demo is officially up if you guys would like to download it um that'd be great and probably i'm gonna wrap things up in about 15 minutes here uh i'm not gonna play through the entire i think visual novels are more uh engaging and they set the tone better if you're able to sit you know sit down and play for yourself um so we got about 15 minutes left i am gonna hold that raffle for horizon zero dawn for sure um before we close out the stream and then whoever else won a uh the two previous codes please uh if you haven't dm'd me or i'll dm you because i can probably scroll up in the chat but just in case go ahead and send me a dm or if in case i forget and i mentioned you earlier just contact me on twitter at anaclass studios i'll definitely get the code to you okay uh more narration my guidance counselor was located on the first floor okay i'm gonna play a little bit through this walking up to the door this is where he runs into hema crass his guidance counselor Hema appears. Don't be shy now. I'm always here to help students. Guidance counselors never look this attractive. And they don't show this much skin. But I took some creative liberties for this character. To my dismay, Miss Crass was behind the door. Uh, this mentions I made up this is a made up term that say that states if you it doesn't if you know, if a girl or a woman is a, you are attracted to them, right? You're gonna have, and you're the shy and introverted type. You're gonna have problems meeting their eye contact. No matter if they're 18, if they're 35, if they're 45, it's gonna be a thing. Um. It would be great if you could just get some random girl to, hey, let's practice meeting eye contact with each other for hours on end. Maybe I will be used to it. But that's actually a thing. Miss Crash says, um, this is an insight point gameplay. I just happen to be one of the counselors. And I will make the note that all of the insight triggers, trigger dialogue is actually voiced. Hello, Rowdy Panda. This, uh, it's a, uh, individual novels. I am, my name is Anthos. I'm the head dev. Um, and it, under the Anaclass Studios brand, that's how we are on Twitter. Uh, let me do this real quick. We're going to pause this. Um, yeah. Um, it is an individual novel. You can check out our itch.io page. And you can actually play our de- our demo right now i was in the middle of live or let's playing the um demo let me post some links for you guys just uh, because somebody asked and a class studios dot itch dot eo you can download our demo today and if you have any thoughts about it i would appreciate if you could leave a comment that would be awesome 